In the many battles between the lion and the porcupine, the lion is almost always the loser, suffering the most stabs from his thorns. But at this moment, the lord of the jungle becomes pathetic. These are the pitiful moments where the stupid lion hunts the porcupine, stabbed and injured by a hundred sharp thorns. Spotting a porcupine roaming in the grasslands, the lion decides to attack. After a long chase, the porcupine was caught by the lion. But this prey is difficult to touch, and the lion must be very clever not to bear pain. The African porcupine has extremely sharp and thick spines all throughout its body. These spines can be up to 30 centimeters long, and are composed mainly of keratin. It is a material similar to human hair and nails. This is an extremely effective defense tool for such a small predator. Due to the sharp nature, the porcupine can easily penetrate deep into the skin, causing grave injury to the enemy. While looking for food at night, the porcupine unfortunately encountered a group of hungry lions. However, this animal is not easy to subdue. He can use his special self-defense ability, confidently rejecting all lions. A few lions receive the sharp quills pierced into their body. Now, they stand helplessly watching their prey. The porcupine has accidentally entered the human territory, now encountering a pit bull. He has been cornered by the pit bull in the mud. This is a heavy and impossible terrain. It is difficult to run away and resist the dog's attacks. The mud-stained thorns are drooped, putting the porcupine at a disadvantage. Yet still, this pit bull finds it difficult to reach his prey. Despite the pain, the dog continues to attack, and after an intense fight, he is exhausted. The dog has won, but he has suffered incredible wounds to the upper body and face. Leopards are among the top predators with many skills adapt for different environments. They can attack in the tall trees or even in the water. But these skills do not help them win against one particular prey. Today's target is the porcupine. Weighing only 13 kilograms when fully grown, they have an intense layer of sharp spines covering their entire body. When approaching, the leopard has been stabbed by these thorns, using his forelimbs to attack. We can see that he is injured and bleeding because of the intense hunger, but he remains persistent. In the end, the leopard is the victim. He must give up one prey. The leopard is starving to eat when suddenly he's noticed the porcupine moving slower and slower. Immediately, he rushes into attack, but the result is a painful lesson. Many long spines are stuck into his paws and body. The leopard needs to give up this hunt or face a certain death. When he finds a secluded place, he's able to remove the thorns from his body. However, it is not without grave pain. He has been stabbed far too much, causing non-stop bleeding. Some believe that the porcupines have the ability to shoot their feathers, but in fact, they are only released when contacted against other predators. The removal is painful and incredibly grueling. When they pierce the skin, there is nothing more to do than sharply remove them from the body. This might lead to extra bleeding. Animals must be incredibly wary when stabbed by the porcupine.
A python is trying to approach the porcupine in the swamp. When it attacks, the sharp thorns are easy to pierce in the reptile's internal organs, thus killing him. When the thorns fall out, new ones grow to replace that, ensuring that there is always a dense layer of sharp spines protecting their delicate skin. But the glutinous python seems to receive a bloody lesson, not thinking about the consequences. Now the rock python is one of the largest python species in Africa, a total length up to 6 meters. It is the largest among the world. They kill their prey by squeezing their body and rendering them dead. Today, the lion had a rare confrontation with the python. It shows great curiosity in the large animal, daring to approach. But the python despises this enemy, removing calm, but he is a notorious predator. The python repeatedly opens his mouth to threaten, but before he is challenged, he must launch the counter-attack, biting at the opponent's face. It is at this time that the lion realizes it is a fierce predator. He must be careful before he is wrapped around. Fortunately, the mother lion is there to escape. She pulls the rock python away, trying to protect her young cubs. She takes the initiative of attacking, and now she can quickly disperse. It is a risk going head to head with Python. But these are trained predators, knowing how to attack all prey. The King Cobra is a species of snake in the cobra family, found mainly in tropical forests, stretching from India to Southeast Asia. It is the longest venomous snake in the world the maximum record up to 7 meters. They can weigh anywhere from 15 to 20 kilograms. When in danger, the King Cobra will quickly escape, avoiding all confrontation. If provoked, it will become extremely aggressive. Because of hunger, the Cobra has decided to attack the cubs. But the mother is not far, and she must protect her youngs. The mother returns only to make a grave mistake. She has been sprayed by the venom in the eye by the enemy. Now she struggles in the mud, hoping to survive. The lion is resting when a black mamba snake appears from the bushes. It is among the dangerous snakes in Africa. Quickly injured, the lion has been attacked by the spray of the venom. Stunned and unable to move, the black mamba quietly waits for death to have come upon this prey. After being bitten, he is left resting in a poisonous state. Following death, the black mamba returns to his enemy, now attempting to eat the whole animal. It is a difficult maneuver. He can simply gorge at the pieces that are attainable. This prey is far too large for a small snake. While in the foresting grasslands, a herd of zebras was caught by the lion. After stalking, the lion has decided to rush in towards the zebra, causing panic and chaos. Taking advantage of the scene, the hunter manages to capture one adult zebra. Although biting him on the neck, the lion has fell into a terrible position, and the zebra uses his strong legs to kick at the enemy. After struggling, the zebra counterattacks. Being hit by the painful blow, the predator is stunned. Now, he has no choice to let go. A snake is crawling on the grass, sticking out its tongue to determine the correct direction. Up in the tree, an eagle is watching the snake's every move. The eagle begins to swoop down to the ground and attack the snake. Another eagle is flying above, 
hunting on the water. Though on the ground, another eagle is flying down, landing and attacking the snake. Meanwhile, the black eagle is wrapped around the neck by the snake. The snake wraps so tight around the eagle, and the eagle pecks at the snake with its beak. The two animals fought fiercely. In the end, it is the eagle who wins and swallows the snake. Another snake is sunbathing on the grass. The eagle flew down from the tree branch, lowered the altitude, and slowly observes its prey. The snake does not know the enemies are around. The eagle is soaring in the air, flying above the treetops in the forest. The snake is crawling on the grass. Behind the large eagle lands. He curls up to protect himself, but the eagle begins to attack the snake with its beak and legs. It took the snake a while, but the snake gradually defeated. Then the eagle took the snake. He flies into the air, and the eagle lifted the snake above the branch to enjoy its meal. A zebra is grazing on the prairies. In the distance, the lions are foraging in a group. They were approaching the buffalo herd, but their target is not the buffaloes. In the distance, a zebra is walking alone on the prairies. The zebra has fallen into sight of the lion. A lion is a clever hiding animal in the grass, and it tracks its prey. When he got close to the prey at a certain distance, the lion begins to speed up. The zebra runs at a full speed. The lion chases the zebra on the vast prairies. The lion reaches the zebra's hips and bites his leg. The chase continues. The zebra and the lion have confronted each other. A buffalo has seen their fight. He stands for a while observing the moments, and the lion is biting the zebra's neck. Fortunately, the buffalo was just in time to chase away the lion and rescue the zebra. He is weak. The lions are sunbathing in the savanna. Two buffaloes are butting heads, and another buffalo is grazing. Lions are going down for a drink, and they've seen the young buffalo. The lions begin to chase the buffaloes, and they're surrounded by a herd. A lion is following the buffaloes. They are running towards the wild dogs. The lion is running after the buffalo. Under the trees, the two lions are attacking the buffaloes. A herd of buffaloes are working together to chase away the lions. Though a herd of lions are chasing towards the buffaloes, several lions attack the buffalo. The lions are joining forces to attack. They jump on the buffalo, and the buffalo fiercely protests. He's using all of his powers to attack. The lion. A crocodile is swimming ashore in the water, crossing the river to a herd of zebras. The large herd is crossing the river, and the zebras follow one after the other. It stood in front of the crocodiles. An ill-fated zebra was targeted. He gradually collapses and is submerged in the water by the crocodile. Several zebras make it ashore. On the riverbank, the battle between crocodiles and zebras is going on. Another zebra is drinking water ashore. 
when suddenly the crocodile has bit into its leg. He continues to bite the zebra, pushing it away from shore. Fortunately, the zebra is able to escape just in time. The zebras struggle to cross the dangerous river. One zebra bitten on the leg. The zebra is sinking deep into the river. The zebras are grazing in the savanna. There is a lion hunting. The lion turns his eyes towards the herd of zebras and a baby zebra is learning to walk next to its mother. The lion has seen the zebra, the mother and the daughter. It has started to approach. Meanwhile, lions are chasing the zebras. It looks extremely fierce between fast running animals. While the other lions are fighting the zebra, they join forces to attack. It can be said that zebras and lions are the two fastest running animals on species. They possess extremely large legs and perfect agility. A large herd of zebras are grazing. A lion has approached and started attacking. But on the open ground, the zebra is standing alone, and the lion has approached to attack. He does not have time to react, and he is taken down by the lion. Fortunately, the buffalo has come from afar to rescue the zebra, and the buffaloes alone chase away two lions. The other lions were attacking the small buffalo, but the big buffalo has come to ram the lion, and he has ran away immediately. Next to the dry riverbank, the crocodiles are sunbathing. A herd of antelope is wading across the river to feed. They follow each other over huge rocks. Down the river, the crocodile has noticed a herd. The antelope try to cross the dangerous river. Meanwhile, some antelope have gone to the other side, but they are still chased by crocodiles. The crocodiles approach and attack the antelope herd. They use their large mouth to bite the antelope and they struggle to escape the crocodile's teeth. An unlucky antelope has been attacked. The crocodile has bit the antelope's stomach. He is trying to go ashore. On the side of the river, the antelopes are coming down for a drink when suddenly the crocodile has attacked the herd. The whole herd have jumped back in fear. The antelope tried to move across before stalking of a large crocodile. The antelope goes ashore while it's being attacked. The crocodile has bitten the tail. A small group of monkeys is moving about on the ground. Meanwhile, the lion is hunting. The leader of the monkeys looks around, discovering danger. They run to safety, though the lion has sped up to chase after the monkeys. They run to high ground. The crocodile has slithered away into the swamp, chasing two monkeys, the mother and the baby. They are carried across the river before the crocodile chases. On the shore, the crocodile has stolen the baby monkey. So the mother joins forces to save the baby. He was lucky to escape, but a big mother does not escape from the crocodile. The big monkey and the crocodile begin in the attack. They have escaped the crocodile's fangs, but a poor monkey is slowly sinking into the water. Meanwhile, Another crocodile is eating the monkey next to the shore.
Today's video is coming to an end and thank you for your attention. If you love videos about fighting animals, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the latest content. Thanks again and we'll see you in the next video.